another Japanese national, arrived on the shores of Brazil. His name was Mitsuyo Maeda, and unlike Miyako, he had a clear and well-defined pedigree in judo. Maeda had started training at the Kodokan in 1895, at the age of 18. He was part of the second wave of Kano's disciples, and quickly rose through the ranks to become a top student. He taught judo for a while at Wasada University, where he specialised in Kosen judo rules, which placed a greater emphasis on ground fighting. Pai, na verdade, colou com coma ali, e o coma passou a influenciar na formação e no caráter dele, coisa que meu avô não tinha tempo para ter esse relacionamento. Maeda was also familiar with no grappling, having competed successfully at catch wrestling tournaments during his tour in the US. Como voltando ao Japão, a academia praticamente terminou ali, meu pai. Assim, meu pai começou, falou, pô, e agora, como é que eu vou treinar? Acabou, como foi embora, a academia se acabou. Então eu vou... Ele começou a ensinar os irmãos. Aí eu me mudei para o Rio de Janeiro, meu pai se mudou para o Rio de Janeiro, onde criou a primeira academia Grace de Jiu-Jitsu no Rio de Janeiro. Então, eu, é, meu primeiro professor e quem começou a me ensinar jiu-jitsu foi meu tio Hélio, como a mim e como a todos os meus irmãos, primos, sobrinhos naquela época que viviam lá, era ele que dizia quem é que tinha que fazer o que e como ia fazer. Mas modifiquei e adaptei ao fraco. Mas os professores principais da academia, os professores que davam aula mesmo, era o Rollis e o Rorion. Então nós todos ali aprendíamos jiu-jitsu com o Rollis e com o Rorion. I talked to him before I was leaving. I said, why don't you come up to California? Visit me at my house, bring your wife and your son Igor, and there's uh, Pan American Games. Uh, let me see if I can get you in the Pan American Games Ensemble. It's along with the World Championship in Greco and Freestyle. Called me back up, said he's coming. Came up, picked him up, stayed at the house for a while. We went down to San Diego. We tuned up at a national YMC championship, which he submitted everybody, I won. And then uh, we went into uh, the Pan American Games. I had to really talk some people into letting him in because he didn't have the official paperwork, but he got in and he won it and he looked great. And uh, 
That was, I think, the first really show of Brazilian jiu-jitsu in uh, America. Thank mm -hmm. you.